Hello and welcome everybody to the first day of uh, QTP or UFT training, right? Both of them are same. Earlier the name was QTP, now the name is UFT, right? Now, uh, the first thing which I'll be discussing in the agenda is why do we use QTP or UFT? Look, the thing is, uh, all the automation tools rather, why they are used? The automation is used because during the regression testing, we don't want to test the same application again and again. Although we know that it is stable, right? You know that some product is stable, right? You don't want to waste your time testing it again and again. Although you know that the possibility of finding the bugs is the least, right? At that time, we use the automation tools, right? And that's why, and when do we use UTP or UFT? We use it generally in the regression phase of the testing. Okay, now uh, downloading and installing the trial version of QTP or UFT, right? This tool is a paid tool from HP. You can download and install the trial version. Fine. I'll tell you how to download and install it. it. It's The license is valid for 30 days trial license. After that, it's no longer there, right? You might have to use some other PC or you can format your current system and use it. Or you can use VMware and install it on VMware. Alright, if you, if you want to know how to install it on VMware after 30 days, you can drop me an email, I'll send it to you. Alright, now uh, before I jump over the topic of installing QTP, installing UFT and working on it, these are the basic 5 frequently asked questions which I want to discuss with you because most of the people have these questions before the training. Right, the first question is that do I need to learn VB? I'm not, a, I'm not good at programming. Look, the thing is yes. You need to learn VB. You cannot run away from programming. Okay. If you learn programming, learning other tools is very easy. As a tester, if you are working and if you don't have a programming background, you kind of hit a roof in your career wherein uh, you are required to learn any one of the tools which are present in the market. Right. So all the tools, all the automation tools or load testing tools, they re require programming language knowledge. So if you learn this, it will not just help you in QTP or UFT, it will help you beyond that. You can learn other tools as well. Fine. Is it tough? Look, nothing is tough. You just have to give it time, right? It will take you minimum two months to learn. I am saying that you can learn it in 20 days, but to reach a level where you can crack an interview or work in a project comfortably, it takes around two months. Okay, will we be doing any projects in the in training and all? Yes, we'll be doing them. Okay, you will you, you'll come to know. Okay, I'll be discussing them. For example, if you go to the site uh, qtpselenium.com. Okay, the, it's in the it's in the curriculum over here. If you go to the QTP tutorial section, then over here, you see the frameworks are there. We'll be covering these frameworks. Uh, sorry for that noise, right? So these are both data driven, hybrid, keyword driven framework. So we'll, we'll look at that. We'll look at everything, right? And how's the job market for QTP? Look, the job market is always there. All the big companies and all, they all use QTP tool, right? The job market is always there. Don't think that the job market is not there. It's declining or whatever it is. It's there, right? The salaries are also very good in QTP. Right. Now, anyways, let's move forward and let's go by the agenda and let's see how to you download and install the trial version of UFT. Okay. For that, you just need to go to Google and type, just go to Google and type download UFT. Okay. You'll get the first link. This is the HP link. You need to go over here, out here. Click on free trial. Hold on. And you hold on. Just a minute, it's loading. Fine. You fill up the form, right? Register yourself and you'll get the download link. Okay. There will be a direct web download link and the installer link. You can download anything. It's quite huge in size. It will take time to download. Once you have downloaded, right, you need to install it. Okay. Installing it is like any other software. It's already installed on my machine, so I cannot install it again. But there are few instructions which you need to follow when you're installing this tool. 
Okay, the first thing is that during the installation process you might be prompted to restart your PC. It, it might show that the restart is pending or something, right? Don't restart your PC, just keep on installing it. Okay, in, in case for the first installation then Microsoft Visual C++ is also installed. This is installed first. Okay, another thing during the installation process you you might have this kind of window coming up just a minute All right this kind of window might come up during installation okay now these are the various add-ons in UFT okay for example if you're testing SAP based application then you need to include the SAP add-on if you're testing Siebel based application then you need to include the Siebel add-on right by default some add-ons would be selected okay just keep make make sure that you have the minimum set of add-ons minimum set of add-ons are selected right they are by default selected right just keep them and you can install it in case you are testing a suppose a java applet okay then you can <coughs> then you can install java based add-in as well right as uft can be used for both web and uh, you say uh, desktop based applications right then in that case you know by default the web based add-ons are selected in case you want to test any desktop based application then you need to check the corresponding add-on right in case you don't install the add-on in case you want to install it later on after the UFT is installed that is also possible I will tell you how to do that okay suppose you did not install the SAP add-on and then later on if you want to include SAP add-on that is possible okay so I'll just cancel this part right now uh, after installation after installation of UFT okay you'll have this hold on you will have this desktop icon for UFT okay when you double click on it you will have this window that the license will expire in some days never click on install license UFT will go for a toss okay always click on continue button when you click on continue you get the set of add-ons which you had selected in the initial screen over here okay you can select all of them and click on ok and UFT will start alright now one more thing after installation of UFT you need to make sure that UAC is turned off in your PC okay you type over here UAC user account control settings you need to make sure that this bar is at the minimum location after the installation make it to the lowest level okay and restart your PC you need to restart your PC after this okay then only UFT will start working properly alright so you have to make sure UAC is turned off now installing script debugger and all in case you are installing the older version of UFT that is suppose QTP 10, 11 you need to install this as well hold on you go to all programs and over here just a minute go to HP software okay this is UFT actually inside HP software go to tools and you will have various kinds of tools over here now one of the tools over here is additional installation requirements click on this and select first second and last checkbox okay right and or, or you can select all of them and don't check the last one sorry don't check the last ones don't run the in license installation wizard you can simply run them run all of these in case you are using QTP 11 you will get a, another checkbox called as script debugger install the script debugger check on that as well and install script debugger as well in case you are installing QTP 11 but in 12 there is no need right do not run rise license installation with wizard anytime don't run this okay now once you have installed it it's it will start working we'll see record run and all those VB scripting and all whatever is required fine so be with me let me talk about few things right now which people ask me a lot that what QTP versus other automation testing tools which is better right there are two two tools in the market which are majorly used QTP and selenium okay look the thing is uh, 
I won't say that Selenium is bad or QTP is good or QTP is good, Selenium is bad. Each tool has its own advantage or disadvantage. But if you have the budget, okay, if your company has the budget and you can afford this tool, then I would say that you should go for it. Okay, and avoid Selenium because developing the script is much faster and much easier in this tool. QTP requires you, requires you to learn VB scripting. Selenium requires you to learn Java. Okay. Now learning Java is tough for a tester. Right. Although it's an easy language. Java is an easy language. It's not that, uh, that tough. But testers find they have their uh, road, mental road, roadblock about Java. But VB is comparatively, it's a scripting language. It's comparatively simpler. Fine. Now, uh, but the thing is, if you talk about QTP or UFT, the license is very expensive, right? It only supports Windows based operating systems, no Mac. Okay, they say that the support for Mac has also come up. But if you talk about Linux or some other operating systems, then it's tough. But Selenium can support any operating system, right? So each tool has got its own advantages, disadvantages, right? I discussed those as well. The advantage is that it's VB is easy. You have you can develop scripts faster. Okay, you you have this tool is ve this tool is also very consistent. You mostly moreover you have got support from HP. Okay, you have got support from HP. Uh, in case you are stuck somewhere, you can reach HP. You can get the help and all. Fine. The disadvantage about this tool is obviously it's licensed. Okay, uh, it's not belonging to the open source community uh, right uh, it's uh, the browser dependency is a lot right sometimes in chrome and all you face a lot of issues but that's not there with selenium fine there's a long list of disadvantages but by saying disadvantage over here i don't want to go inside the intricities okay just giving you a overall idea okay right now uh, how much vb script is required complete VB scripting is required we'll be covering that in the course right if you go to the website and if you look at this the first seven modules over here are only on VB scripting okay the, on this from the seventh module I'm starting from basics of UFT okay right now simple record and run this is there okay you, you, the record and run is the part of every automation tool okay it is the part of every automation tool every automation tool has got the feature of recording and running right uh, it's there if you go to file new test you create a new test case over here okay you create it and you click on the record icon fine and you start recording for example I open a windows based calculator okay when you click somewhere it records this this kind of feature is available in every automation tool okay if I run this now it will fo it will follow the same procedure if it is not running for you see it was very fast it was very fast okay right if it is not running for you if it is not recording there are various things which you take which you need to take into consideration okay there are various settings which you need to do right I have discussed those under module 7 it's a free module for everyone it's around one hour right you can see that I have discussed that in detail right so there are various settings for most of you this will not work you have to do some settings I just wanted to give you a rough idea okay yes again this is a frequently asked question will the application which application will test will test lot of applications okay this tool can be used for web based as well as windows based applications right we'll, we'll, we'll touch them fine and yes we'll be doing live application testing okay so let's start and let's start with the next part of the training